for the end zone. Loads up. Downfield. Man up. Nelson settles. Going for the end zone. And touchdown! 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 You've had to work so hard and you've been through so much to get to this point where you have the starting position here at BYU. How much meaning does it have to you now because of what you've been through? It means a lot. Uh, I don't know if what I've been through makes it mean it anymore. You got to take a day in, day out, and it's my senior year. And you know, if I wasn't in this position, it would probably mean just as much to me. The, obviously, my opportunities would be different. But I feel like all that's happened has prepared me to be able to be successful, um, or at least more so, going into this senior year. Being able to know, handle you know ups and downs, and to have the experience both on and off the field that I've had, uh, dealing with you know everything from injuries to to being benched, to being lost on the depth chart, to being, you know, starting and all this stuff um, prepares me for where, you know, I feel like there's not anything that can happen this season that I haven't already dealt with, which is, uh, is comfor comforting to know. Have you seen a difference in Brandon Doman year two from year one? Um, not really. Maybe a little bit more relaxed, but... Uh, Some players have mentioned that. Yeah, uh, maybe, you know, I've kind of heard through the grapevine and stuff. I don't follow... Uh, I follow sports a lot, but I don't follow us yeah. <laughs> as far in the yeah. media a, a lot. Cause, uh, but I heard he came under some scrutiny and and maybe a little bit of criticism. And I think it's I think it's uh, like it's undue. It's 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 unjust. I don't. I felt like he called. You know, he was great last year, and I expected him to be great this year and even better. I, I'm along the lines of uh, the line of thought that whatever play is called is. If you execute it, it will be successful. <laughs> and uh, every play in our playbook that we go into Saturdays with and on our, on our game script should be successful if we execute it. Um, now, if we have plays that if we execute them right and they still aren't good, then there's a problem. <laughs> and then we yeah. take care of that Monday yeah. through Thursday, you know. Uh, I feel like his play calling was great last year. I had a real fun, you know, towards the end there, I kind of, we were along the same lines. Uh, when a call would come in, I would know, okay, he's setting this up, you know, for maybe – you know, if we get a first down here, probably on second down, he'll make this call. That's why we're running this play right now on first down and, you know, and all that stuff. So I kind of got in, got in that head a little bit, and uh, I'm excited. He's gone. I know he's done a lot of work and uh, to improve the offense, improve our schemes. And uh, he says, uh, you know, and I don't know what this means. I don't, you know, a skill for play calling. I, to be honest with you, I don't know any, the art of play calling or anything. But he says, he says he's gotten better, and, you know, I trust him and, and know that he has, and I'm looking forward to a fun year. You have a lot of playmakers on offense. How nice is it to have to be able to look at Cody Hoffman down down the sideline and have guys like Mike Lisa and Juice Gazzard in the backfield? It's, it's great. Uh, you know, my goal this year is to be just a distributor of the football, and the way I can do that is knowing the offense inside and out and uh, being able to get the ball in those guys' hands in space and let them let them work. And uh, so that kind of takes some pressure off my shoulders. It, it's nice though because. All the great plays they make always reflect back on me. I can throw a five-yard hitch route. Yeah. Cody will break a tackle and go 60, and I get 65 passing yards and a touchdown. So that's yeah. nice. That's nice. I'm hoping for a lot of that this year. If I can get, a, a, you know, the most production I can get with the least amount of work, I think it'll be fun. As you look at the schedule, what, is there one game that stands out that excites you the most? University of Utah, going into Salt Lake. And then after that, uh, Utah State coming to Provo. I mean, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to go up there and play in Salt Lake. And, uh, you know, losing by 44 points at home definitely increases the intensity of that again. And we were lucky enough to come away with a win against Utah State, but they had us beat two years in a row. So uh, we definitely have to, you know, <laughs> regain position with them because, uh, you know, they're capable of, of beating us every year. And we don't, you know, we obviously don't want that to happen. That Utah loss still seems to linger with guys. Everyone's talked about it. I've talked to you today. That hurt. How important is it? to go up there and have a completely different performance to kind of redeem yourself? It, it's, it's like, it's vital. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, it keeps me up at nights thinking about that. And then also the excitement, the anticipation to get to go up there and, and play again. You know, the worst part about it is that uh, what that allowed them to do is kind of see us as a, is you know, that they were not on the same level, that we're not really you know, a, a formidable opponent for them. And that hurts. Like, you're, we are rivals, and, like, rivals, good rivalries. The teams are right here, and it's, it's back and forth. And, and for them to feel like they got the upper hand that much, and, and to be honest with you, they did. You beat someone by 44 points on the road, that, that's a whooping. 
And uh, so we need to kind of, you know, balance that thing out again. And uh, so, yeah, it's, man, that's going to be a fun game to play in.